Hello everybody, it's Kim Chapman with Sheen Talk Live. I'm Sammy Haynes. <laughs> and we have Ty White with us. It's a pleasure having you. Hey. Yeah. It's nice to be here. It's nice to be here. Yeah, such a handsome young man. <laughs> Thank you. She told me I was better looking in person, so I'll take it. Yes, you are. <laughs> I was watching you last night. So whatever night. you're seeing right now is better. It's better, believe me, in person. <laughs> Y'all just getting a little bit. Yeah. So if it's girls out there that are just like going crazy, if you were here with me, you'd really be going crazy. <laughs> wow, you stand warm again, I see. <laughs> <laughs> they like messing with me, Ty. Yeah. Keep I don't it know going. Why, yeah. But anyway, how'd you get into acting? Uh, much to the, you know, disapproval of my parents, I went after it. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, they hated the idea. I was like an athlete and then... Um, Went to University of Michigan. Mm -hmm. and got Ooh, my, cold. Yeah, very cold. That's where I'm from. I'm from Detroit. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah. This so, weather feels good to you then, doesn't Today, it? but Atlanta's on some weird stuff, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just used to L.A. now, so every day is like this. Okay. Uh, yeah. We love L.A. Yeah. Except for the traffic. Uh -huh. Except for the traffic. <laughs> Except for the traffic. Traffic's on a whole nother beast. Yeah, but, I don't, um, I, that shouldn't be another word for that traffic up there. Cause it's it's, it's yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> grid, it's, it's, all, it's, it's, like, all, it's always bad. It's terrible. Always bad. I think we came, we flew in, got in the car, and we sat in traffic for two or three hours. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, like my uh, family, they well parents, they were like, "Nah, don't do it." Uh, tried to talk me out of it for several years. Really? Uh, yeah, because it wasn't easy. It wasn't like an overnight success. I've been out right. in LA for seven years now. Right. Um, oh, wow. So it took some time. It took a lot of uh, making calls back home, like, yo, I'm tight on rent money. Can you help me out real quick? Right. So um, they uh, looked out, and now they are um, reaping, glad, the glad, reaping the benefits and glad that I didn't listen to them. Right. You wow. Know? And, that's, and my pops told me that, um, you know, verbatim, uh, after I um, got on People vs. O.J. Simpson, he was like, man, I'm glad you don't listen, didn't listen to me. It shows that parents ain't always right. So, Gosh, yeah. well, he was that was man. He was very manly to say that because yeah. most parents be like not saying something, or <laughs> ready to say I told you so. Oh, he know right. though. He know though. That, that's my biggest fans though. Right. So, so um, he always yeah. like um, really promote me, like annoyingly promote me. So but, that's um, good. That means he's proud of you. He's proud of me. Mm -hmm. yeah. That, that yeah. really means when a, when a father does that to his son, I mean he is really honestly proud of you. Yeah, man. Yeah. So do you have siblings? I do. I got an older sister and a younger brother. Oh, My, wow. Uh, wow. Uh, younger brother's in L.A. with me. And then um, um, sister is uh, back still back in Detroit. Okay. Not, so they're not in the acting world? No, no, no. Not at all. They they could never do it. They, they, they always talk about it all the time. They're like, the scrutiny, the, the eyes. They've come to set and see me work. So I guess the process and, you know, you're doing takes over and over again. Right. And you got all eyes on you. They're like, no, I can never do that. So, wow. Um, yeah. How did you deal with all of that? You were, because that is a lot. We were just talking to someone else and they were mm -hmm. saying even on, on, on set, it's just a lot of people watching you and you mm -hmm. have to deliver because uh, you don't deliver. You got all those people looking at you like, oh, my God. So how do you balance all of that? Uh, try not. To, I guess if you make the analogy of like sports, for instance, mm -hmm. you know, you have everybody in the crowd looking at you, mm -hmm. but you just go out there and do what you do. They don't right. wonder about, oh, this person in XC is looking at me, waiting for me to make this shot or make this play. You just go out right. there and do what you do. You prepared enough in life for that moment. Right. Uh, a lot of people think they can wake up and do it overnight. It's not one of them things. So mm -hmm. I learned the hard way because I, I was one of those people that thought oh, overnight I could do success. it. Yeah, I was like, oh yeah, I'll go out to LA and just act. And no, no it, it, take, like takes, it takes um, a lot of patience and diligence and, and honing your craft. Well, that patience paid off because yeah. today mm -hmm. you are on, on the TV. <laughs> on one of the top hit shows, which is Greenleaf, mm -hmm. and you're killing the role. I appreciate it, man, I appreciate mm -hmm. it So how did you, how did you even land the role, first of all? Uh, I auditioned for, originally, Jacob, the mm -hmm. role that Lamont Rucker was mm -hmm. playing. The son? Yeah, the son. Gotcha. Uh, they already, already known that they were gonna go with Lynn, and I think uh, Merle was already cast as well, too. Uh, so I think they were looking like color the, 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 the color to match, <laughs> yeah, black people color to match. So they're looking at that 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 color scheme, if you will, and then they cast Keith, because Keith, right. I guess Keith was negotiating the whole time. And right. then at that point, it opened up the window when you you, you know you cast a, a, a darker skinned brother. Uh, Got it. And I auditioned for that role, and 
made it pretty far. It was it came down to I think Lamont, myself, and one other person. But Lamont is Lamont, so right. they, they they're familiar with him. And it we went love Lamont Rucker. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it went went with him, and then um, they asked me about auditioning for another role, and I said yeah, cool. And I, I uh, read about it and. They thought where the character might go, so I had some apprehensions at first, and then I talked it over with my agents and managers and um, the rest of uh, you know the own network team and like right. what was expected from the role and what they wanted to do with the role, and then um, auditioned and you know luckily I'm sitting here today. Good. Yeah, yeah. Because I was wondering that you know that role does come. It's not a traditional role. No. It, it plays <laughs> a character who. Has He's real though. An alternate, alternate life. Yeah. Um, so how did you really get into that space? Or I know it probably was uncomfortable at first uh, as it, a man, but how did you become to do it just as an actor? This is a part. This is a piece. This is an art. Well, I think first and foremost, uh, you know, I like to consider myself an artist. Uh, I'm not in any way, shape, or form as good as the Heath Ledgers or the Jay Gyllenhaals or any of these other. Uh, phenomenal actors that have tackled uh, um, this type of role, which is a homosexual role or, or a bisexual role. It's one, he's a mixture of all those. Right. Kevin is a mixture of all those. He's right. not just gay. So, right. um, and I had to kind of put myself in a in a space where I, I tackled it from an artistic per perspective first, and then secondly, from um, from a real perspective because this is something that is is kind of like that. Uh, um, elephant in the room, mm. in, 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 uh, especially in the black church. Mm. Uh, you know, I don't want to play towards stereotypes, but you know, the choir director or the, you know, mm, all, the, right. all the things that, that people are familiar with if you've grown up in a black church. And, and I wanted to um, kind of stretch my acting muscles to mm. see if I was able to, to do something like this. And um, uh, luckily the, the feedback has been pretty good. Uh, people are Yeah, like you're killing the role. I, I, mm -hmm. I appreciate it a lot, man. Right. I do. You're killing the role, and it's it's very authentic. It seems very authentic because I think art, I think the art of acting is really making a lie feel like it's the truth. Yeah. And if you're able to take me down that role, although I may be going to hell, but I feel good, like you're doing the role <laughs> the way it should be. And I think I that's, appreciate it, man. I think that's what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. So what's your favorite part of the show? Besides, I love that you're acting with the Winans girl. I think she has a beautiful voice. Mm -hmm. and I love oh, she's from Detroit too. Yeah. yeah. Like that. Yeah. We, didn't, that we didn't know Detroit each other. Really? Yeah. We did not know each other. We uh, we went to what schools not too far from each other. And obviously, I knew when she, when I first met her, uh, she said her last name, and I was like. Minus <laughs> from Detroit because it's such a unique name, right? right. And, I, and she was like, Yeah, and I was like, I'm from Detroit too. And we kind of that's how we kicked it off, like right away. So she's mm -hmm. become like fam, oh, uh, wow. like immediately, wow, yeah. Uh, but it, I'd say my favorite part is probably outside of uh acting with her because she is incredibly talented, mm -hmm. yeah. she makes it yeah. so easy just to work with her. Uh, outside of her, I'd say just sitting back and um, learning because you can never uh stop learning That's and then right. when you got Keith David who's been in everything and Lynn Whitfield Keith be on TV he's probably on TV right now I swear there are so many movies <laughs> that like I'll be flipping through the channel and either you hear his voice yeah or like because he's done all those voiceover commercials or or, uh, or um, like random movies like Crash he was in Crash and I was watching Crash one day he, he just pops up in everything yeah. so I'll just text him like you on TV again man he just <laughs>, laughs so it was funny yeah. In the acting world as a whole, who is your favorite actor? Favorite? Um, who? I don't know. It, it's man, I'm fickle. Some days it's, it's like <laughs> it's it's Denzel, then other days it'll be Viola. Like it it it, it can be it a man changes. or a woman. It could be like Viola as of right now is probably my favorite. Mm -hmm. That, that she's yeah. she's outworldly talented. Um, but it it'll it'll vary. Uh, day to day or, or month to month, more so month to month, if somebody comes and gives a brilliant performance or right. I watch something that somebody else was in uh, five years ago, 10 years ago, yeah. just to re remind myself, I'm like, man, they are dope. <laughs> so, I mean, you can never go wrong with like, you know, Brian Cranston. Right. Uh, like, anybody, I just watched something with him last night. That's why he's on the top of my, um, top yeah, of my yeah, mind right yeah. now. Uh -huh. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's so many people that are talented and so many people that don't even really get a chance to truly show uh, how gifted they are until that role comes along. Wow. wow. What do you have coming up soon? Uh, second season of American Crime Story. Oh, okay. So it'll be about Katrina. So um, when I'm done with this, they're, start, they're in pre-production, and I should be going back to that. So. Wow, so you stay busy. 
I'm trying to, man. <laughs> I'm making it. up for seven years of not working. <laughs> right. So, so you, you, you think like, I was, show, like, boy was broke up. trying to get a job. So when you yeah. get a job, you're like, man, I'm going to keep I'm working. Keep exactly. I'm, I'm going to keep work going. As many I, jobs. I, 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 I'll, I'll, I'm, I'll I'm with you about that. Get uh, that uh, check. Get that check, man. <laughs> so do you think Greenleaf opened all of these doors? Or do you think that was OJ? Which one do you think really put you in the front of producers and, and, and talent bookers to really, really get your career moving forward? Uh, I would say it's a combination of both because I think uh, the OJ got came with all the acclaim and notoriety. Right. So people saw that I had a it was a supporting role, but it's in a supporting role of a show that won how X amount of Emmys and mm-hmm. had uh, you know, all these phenomenally right. historically great actors in it. Yeah. I mean Cuba was playing my father, so I got so many scenes with yeah. Cuba, I got so now, many. Now when you get those roles like that, you do get an invitation to the XBs and Yeah, yeah, I was at I was at all that so stuff. So you get to go to I just was in the back. I was in the back. Uh, the, the main I, people, like, I was there. I was in the back like, oh yeah, okay, okay. So <laughs> the, 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 the next step is, is to be on the main floor and then I'll be able to sit at the table. So it's coming. It's coming. But I'd say that that started on one level and then um, I, I think Greenleaf just kind of built upon it right. and uh, probably opened up to a, a different audience too because uh, they're entirely different audiences. Right. So mm-hmm. when you have an opportunity to, to grasp both those audiences, you take it. Yeah. So what should we expect in the new season of Greenleaf? Drama. Drama. It sure is. Because last night was crazy. Drama. It's about, it's about to be some drama. <laughs> um, really? Can you give us a little hint? Um, Can you at least tell us where you and Charity fall? Back in love, can y'all make the? Can <laughs> Who said Kevin it? ever ever stopped falling out of love? It might not be Kevin's fault. At the end of the day, I, that's all I'm gonna say. Oh. If they don't make it, it might not be Kevin's fault. Everybody think it's gonna be Kevin's fault. That's all I can say. I can't say no more. Yeah. If, they if they don't make it, they ain't tired. <laughs> That's a cliffhanger. That's a well, cliffhanger, you know, man. I, in, the I first, like, in the Ugh. first episode, you did tell her, um, I don't ever want to lose my best friend or mm-hmm. hurt my best friend. Yeah. You remember that? I do. So, I do. And you played that part. Mm-hmm. You played that part when you got... How did you get those tears to come up like that? Man... <sighs> I, I don't know. Do. I, don't, I just think that's that's, that's part of that's part of acting like, too. Both like, of you, you guys cried. That was a very emotional, heartfelt scene about you just really being truthful and honest, and just her at the same time, just like, oh my god, I can't believe. Yeah. You have just destroyed my whole idea of what I thought my husband should be, or is. Well, which I brought a lot of power to that. Yeah, man. It, it was easy. Where it's easy working with her, um, and then, like. You know, as an actor, you're constantly a student of people. Right. So you, I like I, I like I, that a student, a of student, people. student of people. So uh, I had to hit uh, one of my cousins who is going through something similar like that, and just kind of talk to him and pick his brain uh, to to kind of get in that headspace. And then mm-hmm. above all else, is just having empathy. So mm-hmm. although uh, Ty may not be experiencing that, it's about trying to bring truth to that character and uh, the the life and that my cousin has lived and some of my other friends have lived. Right. Uh, uh, and you just kind of talk to those people and you pick their brand and you learn how to bring truth to that moment, um, whatever that is. It doesn't have to just be that particular moment. It could right. be a, a, you know, somebody that was molested or, or, mm-hmm. or raped or and things like that. And you may have never been molested. You may never been raped, but, uh, and I'm sorry to bring up all this negative stuff. It's all so depressing. <laughs> but like, like I guess you that's just, how y'all get into yeah, the mood. You, you know, like, you that's just, how you yeah, get into the character. You get into it. You, you get, get into the, it. the tears and the emotions to flow. You got to think about something. Yeah. That's a good learning lesson. Yeah. A student of people. Student like of that. people, man. Mm-hmm. You got to call and ask questions if you didn't live it yourself. Change the subject. You got an awesome barber. So you got a tight cut. I just got a cut before I came here. Really? Because I thought we was taking photos. And y'all switched it on me, so I was like, all right, well. Yeah, well, yeah, no, well thank they you very gave much. you, he, he did an art on No, he's, you. Legit. he's yes, legit. I just found really, him like a month ago, so I'm, really? I'm, I'm rocking with him. Oh, wow. Here in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. He did a good, like, he, he has done your hair to perfection. Oh, man. Because yeah, some, <laughs> some, some barbers don't understand how to do the, 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 um, how, the weight and whatnot. Like, your weight and everything is. No, nah, he's legit. I, I, I rap when I'm in Atlanta. I got, I'm always traveling, so I gotta have a barber in uh-huh. every city. But he's he's the guy. In don't Atlanta. don't don't lose him because he did a great job. Nah. Don't know him, but I, I, I'll tell him he got yeah. compliments on his work. Exactly. <laughs> 
Tywai, it's a pleasure to really have you here on the Sheen Magazine set. I appreciate it. We look forward to you being in the Sheen Magazine at the same time, just doing more things with you. I think yeah. it's yeah, absolutely. really exciting to have you here. You're doing an amazing job on Greenleaf. I appreciate it. I, uh, you left with that cliff, cliffhanger. I guess we got to keep watching. Mm -hmm. Keep watching. And we are going to do a shoot. I think we're going to do it again. Uh, another time. Oh yeah, yeah. we are. Yeah. Another time. So we, we got to, you, don't you? So worry. we get yeah. to see you again. <laughs> yeah. So Ty White, thank you for being on the Shade TV. It, we hope to do more with him. No and, hoping. Oh, uh, we, we will. Exactly. We do will. more with him, and don't forget to watch Green Leaf on OWN TV. Uh, I think it's going to be a phenomenal season. It's already started with so much drama since last out night. Out the gates, so yeah. Can't wait. It's going to be drama out the gates. <laughs> that's good. Especially that's when he like. revealed that he was his son. I was like, oh my God, yeah. they died in there. <laughs> so if you watch the show, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, watch Greenleaf. It's a must. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much, Sheen TV, with the lovely Kimberly Chapman. And the handsome Sammy Haynes. Oh, wow, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.